Okay, so the main keywords were TensorFlow as an interface and TensorFlow as an implementation. So let's deep dive on these two keywords. TensorFlow as an interface. First of all, it's a lower level library. So it's not abstractions on top of your deep learning implementations so that you know you start treating this as a black box but it's a lower level library which gives you that level of customized control that you would need in designing a complex application okay it has got an extremely flexible structure but then again we will only discover this as we go forward but not only this it also has predefined implementations available so if there's going to be some person who has solved problem X, we can extract those predefined implementations and apply it directly on problem Y, okay? Now, TensorFlow as an interface was then. What about TensorFlow for implementation? Now, whenever I talk about implementation, I look at two things. I need a language to implement a particular technology and I need an environment so that this technology can rest on. So basically there is language and there is environment. Now, TensorFlow for implementation makes things scalable. So whatever you're going to develop on your laptop can directly scale across hundreds of machines in a distributed computing environment okay it is very easy to deploy in production as i've seen the mobile platform be it your typical server your virtual private server the amazon cloud the google cloud any implementation or infrastructure that you're sitting on top of tensorflow can be deployed with ease even with docker containers okay so you can basically go off from a small experiment to an industrial strength solution without any headaches whatsoever. Okay, so we'll talk about the TensorFlow environment the next.